Okay, everybody, welcome back to All The Mods 8. We've got a bit of um, gaming to do today, really. Um, nothing massively crazy, but I do need to go and kill the Ender Dragon. So yeah, that's a plan. Nothing nothing too major. So yeah, I'm sorry about no video on Friday. Um, my wife had to jump in for an emergency surgery and it kind of messed everything up timing-wise. So I wasn't able to record. So yeah, but everything's fine now. We're all good and we're back to normal. So let's get going. All right, so I have a few things I want to get done first. One is the Sojour Sojourner's stuff and the Lantern of Paranoia. These two things will help us just progress when we're going to try and find the, the, the end portal and just make things a bit safer for us. So, so the Sojourner's staff, I need a void tier, some gold dingots, uh, blaze rod, and some molten cores, which I already have quite a bit of over there. So we need to go and get that done. All right, so we have the blaze rod. We have the molten core. I'm also gonna need one of these. And there's something else I need. So all oh, this in here. Oh, I need another molten core, fine. So for the void here, we need Another slime pearl, gas tier, nebulous heart. So slime pearl, nebulous heart. Uh, did I pick up that extra one? I did. And then I do have a gas tier in one of these chests. Oh, there they are. And this one. There we go. And then I needed some glass. All right. So boy tier needs some lapis, and then I also need a gold ingot. Gold and this. All right. So. Boy to your first, there we go, Sojourner's Staff, perfect, and basically once I shift, right click, turns this on, it will start adding torches to it, which I can pull from in here as well, as you can see they're slowly going down, this will hold up to 1500 or 1500, so that's handy to have, and while that's working there, we will get some iron and create the Lantern of Paranoia. Now, I love this thing because of the fact that it just places torches down for you and places that is needed. So if I shift right click, you start placing torches for us. And that has lit everything up. Although there is a few wee bits and pieces that just make it a bit weird. Now the, the, the major problem with it is it will light up in here. It will stop all these spawners so I need to be careful not to have it on when I am out and about round that. So that's that, that's nice to have. Uh, a few other things we have, we've got obviously got some good armor, got the mystical agriculture stuff. I would love to go the higher tier, but at the moment we're not really there yet. I do have two swords here. I've got this one, which has got the Bane of Anthropods on it, which is good, but not amazing. And then we have this one, which has the sharpness five. It's, it's just a better attack and also, can drop the spawn eggs. Now, I would love to take the enchantments off of both of these, but I don't know if this will work. I need some iron and lapis. So you go sleep real quick. I'm going to head down here and hopefully oh, it does. Uh, what one is it I need? Um, is it splitting? Allows anvils to, yeah, so we can get it. And I'm breaking two, that's nice. Awesome, so that allows us to use this. I think it has to be on bedrock or obsidian. So if I use it with obsidian and some books, I am able to get the enchantments off. So that's a good start. So I need some books. I need the amount of books per enchanting, so five, ten. Right, okay, I don't have enough to make books. But I'm going to go and see if I can find some sugar cane. Oh, you're a beehive. It might actually just be quicker going to... Oh, hello. Have I been... Been in here, yeah. That gives me stuff. The toggle the magnet off. Gosh, place that down. And then I need to... The books and the sword. And then get the anvil. And drop... That will give us an unenchanted sword and all of the enchantments that we had on it. And then if I pick this up and throw 
these out now. Drop the anvil. Give us a start. Now I can go up here. Use the anvil we have in here. Put this in. No, 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 no. Let's see what we've got first. So, I have sharpness. I want fire aspect. Don't want that. Looting four. That's looting five. Uh, mending. I'm breaking five. I'm breaking five. And then a spare mending. Okay, so. I'm breaking and I'm breaking. Gives us I'm breaking six. And then we can put that on like that. And then to go and get more levels. And I can put sharpness and looting. Maybe? No. Sharpness and mending. And now we have a... I'm breaking six, capturing five, fire aspect five, sharpness five, mending and looting five, sword. 11.5 attack damage, nice. And then I have uh, that. And then I have a, a looting four and a bane of arthropods book, which I probably will never use. So I can just throw them in there like that. And I think, oh yep, yeah, now I need to book. Because I want to take the enchantments off of pickaxe, so I can put it onto another pickaxe. So I'm breaking four and boon of the earth three. Perfect. And then we have this thing, which is really, really handy to have. And I think we're pretty much done with that. It's now, it's now actually time for the second what I want to do. So I need to build this. This is easy. Have. I need some redstone repeaters and some obsidian, which I just put away. Redstone and then we do glass pane. Should have one sitting about. Yep. And then the redstone repeaters. I actually should have a load of them. There we go. So I just need the redstone. That gives us a deep learner. And then I need one of these. What am I missing here? I need smooth stone clay and gold ingot. I do have some gold here and there's a lot of smooth stone up here. So I want to make, oh no, smooth stone. Yeah, there we go. Four of enough there. Okay, so these. So I need two for the dragon and then I want two for the weather. And then I can put them in here once I do that obviously not right now but in a wee bit so that actually done some quests there didn't it oh nice void upgrade ah, some slime balls i will never say no to some slime balls and then once we've done that we need the simulation chamber which i might actually be able to do so i can do the prediction matrix already and then there's the red stone Added up. And then two ender pearls, which I should have a load of just down here. Over 500. There we go. Simulation chamber. Oh, we've hit the max on them. So, yeah, this this is an amazing thing. Once we get this set up with the loot fabricator, which needs netherite and get. Oh, that's a bit of a. That's an iffy one. Uh, but this, this will allow us to get as many dragon eggs, dragon's breath. What do I need for it? I need obsidian, a uh, comparator, gold, obsidian, gold, diamonds, and a comparator, two gold, and then I think it was uh, the netherite ingot, yeah, cool. And then all we need is netherite ingot, and that will be sorted. Put this stuff in here, and then I need to put the rest of this stuff away in a chest, uh, so that can go there, that can go there, that way, that way, that way, that way, oh, there's a main case of them. But I need, obviously, I think it's, if I remember correctly from the last one, it's two kills of the Ender Dragon to register. So that's why I needed these. Um, I don't know if it's, it's, so I need that many. And these get made with glass to make end crystals. And these end crystals will just allow us, obviously, to get some new ones. So we are done, I think. And ready to oh I just hello. Do you have anything for us? Oh diamonds and some sugar cane. I will take them. No models known. That would have been quite cool though. Where are you? There you are. Right, give me all of them. Give me all of them. Uh, don't need, don't need, don't need. This is not really needed. And I'll take a globe. I can always go with a globe. Now, get that achievement. Uh throw that in there. And we have some sugar cane, which will be needed 
later on. I also got a beacon from one of them. It was nice. Uh, oh, I don't actually have efficiency on that. Hmm. Anyway, I wonder if we'll get an egg from one of these. That would be quite fun to have. Did I? No. The hell was that noise? Right. Time to go hunting. What is going on in here? Some zombies. Okay, so let's do this. Jump up here. Now, this shouldn't be too far away. I now need to find it. That way. Ooh, that's a good book. So is that one. Mm. Hopefully we can get some um, iron as we go and build a wee apple. Um, <coughs> I'm actually kind of confused here. What? What? What is this? What? I, like, I am so confused. I have never seen that before. That was a Starbuckle thingy, statue, these things. That, that was cool. I like that. Anyway, we're off in this direction now. All right, so found a man bro. So I have three books that I want to try and put on things. This is getting Scavenger 3 that I found, which is quite cool. And then I have this bow, uh, quick draw. Have enough levels. Can I put that on it though? No. Oh, that's so annoying. But that's fine. I have been very hard at work looking for things and I found this weird place. A merchant thing? No idea what this is about. But it's a loot. Quite a good wee bit of loot actually. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is just. Totally random. Mm. Yeah, that was a cool we find. And now we go back on the track, which I believe is in that direction. Yep. Okay, we made it. We are in the end fortress. No, no. Yes. Yeah. Oh, inside. I don't know. I can't remember what they're called. So we're here. Um, I just seen something that I don't normally have on. No. Hmm. Weird. Anyway. We're here, um, this is turned on, we have, okay, a lot more than what I thought we were going to have. <laughs> okay, so I need to, obviously I can see the portal over there in the minimap. So I'm going to head in this direction, chests, do you know what I realised I just forgot? Pumpkin. Oh, that's a good thing to have. Self sling? Ah, okay. An arsenal vool. I think my game's kind of lagging behind. Ooh, some more frozen core and dragon shards. Uh, yes, please. Starbuckle shards. Oh, nice. Yeah, the frozen cores are good. They can make some pretty mean things, like the salamander's eye. But this angel heart vial will come in, hopefully, very nice. Right, where are we going this way? I'm guessing there's a downstairs. I just need to find it. Yeah, it's looking like it. Although I don't have my creeper shoes on. I have my bunny shoes. And, yep, there should be a skeleton spawner here. Ooh, a diamond. Uh, I found stairs. What up? Um, dead ends. Oh, that's, that's handy. Hmm. Thought I would have got something by now. Ooh. Oh, nice. Another foot thingy. And then, uh, help. Yes. Ah, sweet. So if we get poisoned or anything like that, that should reduce it. Like lengthwise, maybe, hopefully. Um, stairs. Ooh. Jail cells with spawners. Kinda cool. Oh, no way. Royal Sprig. It's a gem. That's so cool. Oh, there's no space for it. Too much of a holder. Oh, this seems to be promising. Yep, dead end. Another dead end. A library. Oh, yes. Yeah. Got a fortune. Plus one fortune. I don't need that. Oh, hello. Oh, is that all the chests? That was boring. What the heck was that? Oh, you! Jeez! Oh, God. Right in my life, there. I see something. Oh, but this is a big library. Hello. Hmm. Oh, I think there's a chest behind every stairs. I know where I'm going. Uh, okay, that just proved me completely wrong. Yeah, okay, mate. Why <clears throat> are you actually having a laugh? Like, you could not make this up. You actually could not make this up at all. 
Like that's so funny. I don't even have the <laughs> to airpack. Oh gosh. But like he knew what I needed and he brought it. Praise to that warden trader. That that was so handy. So lucky. <laughs> yeah, we know you're there. Try and see if there's another chit there is. If I can sneak in here and get it. Mm. Oh, okay, there's nothing. Oh, nothing worth taking. Right, and that's that. Okay, so we still haven't got where we need to be, but it is in this general direction. So for cool, it's like it's telling me. Oh, hello. Oh, diamond sword with life stealing too. Hmm. So down this way, my friend. Aha! Found it. Ooh! Wouldn't it? Unbreaking. We'll take that. Right. I think we're pretty much looted here. And there's nothing else of significance. Yep, 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 yep. Everything's done. Take away that. Pop! Spooky! Right, let's do this. What? Uh, why? What happened there? Visual glitch. Well, I honestly thought I was dead there. Okie dokie then. Let's go destroy a dragon. I was nowhere near you. That one I was a bit close. Oh, is that the one? Nice. Right, so, now I need to fly in here. Get the data models, shove them in there. Need two of them. And do you know this is this is a fun thing. You can actually put this in here. Quite handy. Anyway, off to kill the dragon. Do you know, I always wonder if she has a name before she like disappears on you. Uh Foster. There we are. Catch ya. Go, cool, that was a good shot. Let's just come down. off get a torch get the egg this time Woo! how awesome is that got the dragon egg gonna be summoning the dragon oops we have no idea what she is this is oh you're coming down quick oh, is this gonna be a near kill oh, Foster. Who are you? how did you vanish the got you Woo! 16 dragon scales which makes two things um, pretty sure that came this way. Oh, there it's wow! Oh, dragon scale. So this was for. Oh, okay, look. So I need another torch, another egg, two eggs. Pretty much done. Don't think we'll ever be in here again. But that's never a no. Always a maybe. Oh gosh. I love how you can easily kill the dragon these days and modded too easy. That's why I like the the mod that makes it a bit harder every time you kill it. Can't remember what that mod's called though. We home with a lot of goodies, probably about too many, but you know, probably will never need this again until we get into the Twilight Forest. But we have two eggs, which, when used in a spawner, means it ignores conditions. So, cave keeper and <coughs> the slime, they'll no longer need to be in a cave or a slime junk which means we get even more goodies falling when we turn this on so jump in find the slime put that on and then find the cave keeper that one there and put that on awesome so we also got that achievement which basically means disabled spawns conditions for a spawner so when i turn this on now as you see, cave keepers, and these guys drop the diamonds, emeralds, raw, go uh, raw iron, raw gold, and then we get slimes coming in. And then if I jump up and just make sure of everything, oh, you can come in here, and we're getting a few things that I wasn't expecting. But yeah, basically that's that done. And then I need to go get some chorus foot growing because we now have some end stone and we can get the ai all disabled in these apart from the slimes because the slimes 
act weird when they don't have AI and they don't die from this. Strange, like really strange, don't get it. But yeah, that is basically this semi fully up to date and yeah, we can use wished. We can make it faster, we can make them spawn more and things like that. And then we can upgrade in here for looting, uh, beheading, sharpness to kill them faster, things like that. But other than that, I, th I think it's done really, really well. I just now need to go and empty my backpack because that's stupidly full. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you've enjoyed today's Ender Dragon fight. It was quick, it was fun, it was easy. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!